How'd you get the time to be out here? Oh, just take the time. What'd you trade yours for? I just really like being outdoors. So like, it's kind of like that, that lifestyle I've kind of chosen. If I was more money hungry, I probably wouldn't take as much time off, but I feel like we have a really short life. And I know it's finite and it helps me appreciate it even more. In the spring of 2021, I set out to through hike the Arizona and Pacific Crest National Scenic Trails. All right, here we go. Welcome to Canada. These are my first steps on the Arizona Trail. Woo! A through hike is one of the most rewarding and exciting experiences of a lifetime. So this year, I set out armed with my camera in real quick here. and one big question. How do you get the time to be out here? Priorities. Yeah, we just mostly sold all our stuff and don't spend money and then save money by working, by spending as little as we possibly can and then spend six to eight months doing this. Yeah, I'm just trying to live real cheap you know, when we're in on trail or off trail, I guess. Yeah. A lot of vegetables and rice. I live in Chicago currently, and you kind of just have to live that hiker trash lifestyle in your day to day and not buy anything. And then when you're out here, I mean, it's not that much money involved, you know? You just feed yourself and try to stay away from hotel rooms if you can't afford it. That's how you do it. It's not very complicated. It's not like very exciting, but if you're cool with like not going to movies and like not going to restaurants, it works. We also have a 2005 Honda Accord, so that's pretty cheap. Yeah, I didn't have a car for like eight years or something. Nice. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like totally doable. If you know like what you love and what you want to do, it makes it pretty easy to make other sacrifices, I think. I and mean, I don't really care about a lot of other stuff. I just want to maximize being able to spend my life doing the things I enjoy as much as possible. I had gotten out of the restaurant industry because of the pandemic and I was doing some carpentry and uh, got to figure out the next step. So what better place to do it, right? Explain what you do when you're not on trail. <laughs> Anything I can do to get back on trail. I work odd jobs, or not odd jobs, but I work different jobs and then just try to save up money. And then usually I try to save about 1500 bucks for every hike, no matter how long it is. I did the Washington and Oregon on the PCT for $500. Resupply boxes on the trail helped a lot. Making your own food. Dehydrate your own food. And know how many liters you have to drink every 10 miles you go. So far it's been kind of like a six month on, six month off sort of thing. Work through the winter, gig work, kitchen work, service industry, whatever I can do to kind of save up for the next adventure. I work for myself, so I've been blessed in my job and my career, and I'm like one of the top agents in New York for my firm. Whenever I see I wrap up a couple of my deals and I have like five days, seven days, or like in December it'll be a month, I take that time instead of continuing to grow my business. If I was more money hungry, I probably wouldn't take as much time off, but I feel like we have a really short life. And since we have a really short life, we have to make sure we do things that inspire us. There's a huge energy in these hills and a lot of people don't ever realize it because they don't experience it, but it's uh, it's quite amazing. It's incredible. Bring you back to life, make you want to sell all your shit. What do you think, KP? It's kind of in the top three, you know, motivation for living. Let's yeah. say <laughs> food, sex, hiking. I work at an outdoor retail store, so I basically just give them like a few months notice and they're totally fine with it. And I just save up a bunch of money and that's how I'm able to do it. Basically, I have my apartment subletted, my jobs are on hold, and I've set up my life so I'm completely debt free. I have no payments, and any of the payments like cell phone and other things are automatic draft. I saved a specific amount of dollars that I wanted to have on this hike for this time to truly enjoy myself. It's been a process over the last six years that I've been paying down debts and getting my finances in order to be able to do this. Okay, well, all these mosquitoes are eating her alive. I have to stand here very calmly and not swat them off my face. <laughs> I have the bug net too, and they're still driving me crazy. So I don't shake the camera. Oh, yeah. I had no backpacking experience before I came out here. I just threw some stuff together and just started hiking and fell in love with it. Been making it work ever since, just adapting along to the trail and figuring out what I have to do, learning from others, learning from failures. It's taken a lot and I've learned a lot, but I think I, I've finally gotten it all down after years of trial and error. I kind of do a lot of labor intensive jobs. I have a high turnover rate back home, like machining, working in lumber mills and things like that. I try to keep my summers on foot or on wheels, consuming as little as possible. And I'm um, just trying to live a pretty frugal lifestyle. 
I work my butt off in factory jobs in order to support this. It's not the best way to do it, but it pays for the trails and pays to do what I love, so it's worth it. I just took five people in a compact hatchback, all smelly hikers, from the middle of Tucson to the trailhead at the Colossal Cave National Park. They're all hiking the Arizona Trail. How did I get the time off to hike? Well, I had just finished college when I did the Appalachian Trail and when I did the PCT, I had just done a bunch of seasonal work for the previous two years. Ski stuff, river stuff, but okay, yeah. I'll cut I'm, I'm, a, I'm a flight instructor um, now and uh, an airline pilot soon. So you're flying commando? Obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's a way to roll out here, you know. It's yeah, putting on you know, sweaty, gross underwear. Eey. In May of 2020, I graduated from university. Anyways, uh, I figured this would be a good opportunity to do, uh, you know, scratch a few items off the bucket. Yeah, it's a heavyweight wool hiking kilt. This is a, this is a sporn, but obviously holds, you know, anything that you need: money, headphones, a mask in case I get smoked out. So I did the, the Appalachian Trail southbound. I started on July 13th of 2020. I finished on February 13th of 2021, and then I met a few people who gave me the opportunity to come out here. It's a hot and desolate section. A couple cattle tanks, 60 miles, two nights of sleep. Oh my God. How are you feeling, dude? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty thirsty. I've done, uh, oh, yeah. I don't know, maybe 260, 270 miles on the oh, Arizona geez. Trail. We Hold grabbed some friends and loaded up on beer and snacks and sodas and figured we would just hang out here for the weekend and see who we could meet. It's just as much fun for us to just chat with strangers and drink beer all day as it is for you guys, so. I, I did 36 years at Seattle Fire, so after 36 years, I gotta retire, and now I am a professional bum. <laughs> or hiker or skier or whatever. Yeah, that's what I do. Uh, hiker trash. I work for a company that makes tents. Product testing is an important part of, uh, of what we do, product testing. And I uh, run a website about the outdoors, you know, right? reviews, guides, whatever kind of stuff to help people get out and uh, do the same things I'm doing. So we're working. It was a work trip. Yeah, yeah, billable hours. I do work up uh, cancer research up in Seattle at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. And I just got an awesome boss to let me go for a while and get the time off, and, uh, get my head straight and come back, recharged and, and ready to work again. Yeah, that's it. I got two kids at home. Hopefully they go on and, and see this. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Charlie. Hope you girls are doing good. I hope to see you soon. No, I'm gonna come back. This is just for your shot. Out here, I met the um, community I always wanted to be with on the trail, and I never knew existed till I was uh, in my 50s. That's great. I'm a 69, and to be able to still do this is a blessing. The difference between me and you, holding the camera here, um, you still feel that it's infinite, mm -hmm. and I know it's finite, and it helps me appreciate it even more. And there you go. From seasonal work to sabbaticals and self-employment, the key to making a thru-hike work is desire and a willingness to do whatever it takes. Oh my god, I made it. I am back home after all that time driving. Yeah. It's good to be here. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. I really do. See ya.